<sighs> Have you ever dreamt, ever wondered what it would be like to be everything you ever wanted to be? Have you ever daydreamed about what it would be like to have that dream physique? To have all that money in the world? To have everything you ever wanted to become that future you that you so desired? To have the girl of your dreams, to have that family, to look the best you have ever, ever been? And to have made the wealth, the success that you always dreamed of? Has this ever come across your mind? Because it did mine. This was something I used to think about all the time. And it wasn't until I learned something on my journey on self-improvement throughout the two years I've been on this, on this long journey, it wasn't until I found out something known as the compound effect and how it changed my life. And just after knowing this, reading the book, I started to see progress in literally a couple weeks. So stick to the end because I'm going to reveal to you what I learned. Now, The Compound Effect is a book that I've read by Darren Hardy, and it basically relates around this idea that small, smart choices over a long period of time, the principle of reaping big, big rewards in the future from consistently making the small, smart choices now. Literally to the point of choices that seem so insignificant that you don't even realize. For example, say there is someone who is overweight, trying to get into the gym. At first he's not doing a lot, you know, he's going three days a week. He's trying though, he's really, really trying. And then he has one of those days, which maybe you have as well, where you wake up and you just aren't feeling it. You're just not 100%. Oh, I've got to go to the gym today, I've got to lose all this weight, but it's going to take so long, it's going to be like a two hour gym session I can't I'm not in the mood to do that today but instead of not going maybe you decide to go to the gym for only 30 minutes today okay I'm not in the mood I really am not feeling it not 100% but you know what instead of doing a huge t t amount of time at the gym a huge workout I'm just gonna do a little one I'm still going I'm still staying consistent it's still only a small choice but I'm still making progress and it's better than doing nothing now there has been a moment in time in life where we have all wanted to do the better habits, the slightly more healthier option, so we can either look a little bit better, so we can get a sort of reward from it, something to show for all this hard work we've put in. You start going to the gym consistently, you get the dream physique you never thought you could have, or you lose all the weight that you've been trying and thinking about doing for so long. And the question is, how? How can I make that much of a change, that much of a difference? What is the fastest route to changing my life? And there isn't one. There is no sort of quick solution to being able to get to that dream version that you want to get to, that dream you who has everything you want. There is no quick way. I'm sorry to say this. And this might be where 90% of people click off. If you don't, then congrats, you're in the 10%. But it's not, it's an ugly answer. I don't blame those for clicking off. It is not a pretty answer that there is no fast way to getting the thing that you want. But there is something that you can do, and that is just start. Like the compound effect states, like in the book, just start. Just start making small, slightly better choices, slightly better habits, and just stay consistent. Because in the long run, you will reap massive benefits. If you think about it, if you read two to five pages a day, 20 minutes a day. In a year's time, you would have read over 1,500 pages. You would have learned over 100 new things from such a small, tiny little choice, a tiny little habit that you started doing daily, consistently. Or maybe it's with the gym. You just start. Maybe it's 30 minutes a day. But in a year's time, that 30 minutes a day was enough for you to make the biggest amount of progress to reaching that dream physique you've always wanted. Or maybe it's that business. You spent as little as 20 minutes learning about business, the business models out there, how to make a business, what business model works for you. And you spent a year learning, practicing, buying all the books, reading all the information, studying. And in a year's time, you could create your own business with all the knowledge to back you up and you can make it successful. 
and achieve that success you've always wanted. Just start. But then the question is, how do you get consistent? That's the problem you may be struggling with right now is staying consistent. Consistently doing the good habits. Maybe you have started, but you just can't stay on this path. There's another thing that's mentioned in the book, and that is become aware of your choices. Now, this is something that has greatly helped with me staying consistent every single day, consistently getting up at 6 a.m. every single morning, creating daily videos such as this, going to the gym daily as well, and consistently eating healthy and stopping eating all the junk food that I used to. And that is becoming aware of my choices. So think about the area that you want to improve in your life right now. Just think about it. Think about the one area, the first step you want to take of your life that you want to improve. Maybe it's your physical health. And I want you to track all the things, all the actions that you do that is related to this area of your life that you want to improve. So going to the gym, think about how many times you go. Think about if you even go to the gym at all. Think about the foods that you eat, how much exercise you do. But this is a lot to think about all at once. So for the first week, just start with tracking one habit. Just track one habit that you can do in that first week. One tiny little habit. Going to the gym. I'm going to go to the gym three times this week from 30 minutes to an hour. Only three times, but that's a start because I've never gone before. And another thing, you want to focus on the action that has the most control over your life. So for me, I was tracking, all right, you know what? I'm going to go to the gym three times this week. It's a start. And what's the, what's the habit, the action that has the most control over my life? And that is binge eating snacks whilst I'm binge watching like series like Netflix or anime. Just eating snacks, not because I'm hungry, just because I kind of want to eat as I'm watching something. That was the biggest habit that had the greatest amount of control over me. So I also focused on that. And in a week's time, it made a huge change. Once I started tracking this part of my life, the physical health of my life, I started thinking about all the tiny, smallest good habits I was doing and all the smallest habits that I was doing wrong. Eating that bit more junk food, not eating healthy food, staying inside all day. It made me so much more aware of my life that I wasn't before. The fastest way to transform your life isn't going to be an instant fix. You can't fix your life in five minutes, but you can start now. By simply just starting, that is enough to build a habit. Repeated choices are enough to build a habit. I hope this video helped you out. And I hope things have been good. I hope you've been all right. And I would be really appreciative if you click the video that's going to pop up in the corner here, because this video could help you out as well. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Yeah, come here. Self-improvement gives. Mwah.